Hey guys, this is a live stream, I'm sure. I've already done half of like what I'm doing. It was an attempt to the old like, original Joker. We are on lockdown just now due to COVID-19 and I couldn't go get a haircut so I shaved all my hair and because it was funny I just literally turned on my PS4 here I'm using my, te my TV stand to literally set my phone here when I'm doing the drawing your phone may be upside down when you're watching this but I'm sorry I cannot find my stand so this is how it's going to have to be <laughs> you might need to like turn your phone upside down unfortunately but yeah that's how it's going to have to be I'm afraid so right now the nose didn't go as good as I planned because you know, here, right in the bridge, it was kind of, you know how, I was, I was kind of going for like the pointy look, you know, like rounded at the top here, as it comes like from here round to there, and then it like curves in, but when I looked at some of the photos, it wasn't really as perfect, because it was dead hard to find and there were so many different versions of them and no I didn't trace this because everybody says oh you trace like half your stuff or something but I don't so I'm kind of going for like a lined shading on the side I want to kind of come low with this and wide but not too bad so there and then we'll maybe take the finger around it and you know put it through but yeah it's not it's not as amazing as it was you know planned to be but well we'll get there in time at some point I tried to leave a little light marker here because I'm going to be doing the light coming in from here. Uh, the eyes are a little bit off because the eyebrows were so close to the eye. And if you look at some of the old comics where he was actually in, the shade actually comes from the side of the eye and then it kind of shivers its way down. So from here to about there, on each eye, but that's when you're at a third quarter um, angle or view, whatever you want to call it, when the character is actually facing at a side where the ear would be about there and the head is here, but that's not what I'm doing obviously, so yeah. Uh, I was trying to go around the hair a little bit more because the hair is it's quite bushy but that's how it was in the comic so I mean I'm a big comic fan you guys might call me childish but um and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of more you know like comic fans and stuff so yeah uh I'm actually looking for you know, a way to lighten the hair at certain areas, but not like fully whiten it. So I'm thinking about getting a wedged rubber like this one, where it's flat on two sides, and then kind of like southern it like through the hair, if you get what I mean. But uh, yeah, this is obviously well my plan, but. Not all of my plans really turn out. And no, it is not a time lapse. Just because my hand's going fast, people think it's a time lapse, but it's not. It's really not. I'm just trying to get the whitened areas from here. 
it, try and keep it dark in the very slight edges, like here. Like, the parts where it's hiding, I find are the most difficult for this kind of, like, specific drawing, because wh where the hell's hiding, you don't want it to be too dark, because if it's too dark, then that leads to this part. And if that part is too dark, when you bring it down, it ain't going to look that good because it looks like a big, sharp, pointy thing, like that sort of. And it, it just doesn't look right. Because when you do the big, sharp, pointy thing like that, it goes all weird and it just doesn't look right. So, yeah, I'm, I am actually really sorry about the camera angle with the camera today because it is a fine angle but your phone will be upside down when you're watching this because they're gonna act like the wrong side and we're just going to need to cope with it unfortunately <laughs> but we'll try and tomorrow I'm maybe thinking about doing Batman or maybe Robin from one of the comics and if not Batman or Robin, then potentially Spider-Man, but I can't really do Spider-Man that well because he's difficult to do almost because, like people say that Spider-Man is an easy character to draw, but I find it's actually really hard to get um, Spider-Man to be like properly drawn on your page I think that's kind of like hard for me personally it is quite hard but oh well we've all got things that we can and can't do and that is one of my can'ts like in art I just can't do Spider-Man but I will try my best tomorrow in the video if we can get one in because I know that it's like Easter for y'all and I don't really want to like ruin the festive season by boring you be all these crappy videos or whatever. So yeah, you don't exactly need to like subscribe to me or anything. I don't always mention about hitting the like button or anything in my videos because I feel like people don't like that because they spend like half of the actual video just talking about likes and subscribe and stuff. Really when you like a YouTube video it does nothing. It actually does nothing for the YouTuber. Um, it's mainly the subscribers that makes uh, the, the YouTuber become big or gets paid for things because the likes they don't really do anything to be honest like i don't really see the point in the likes because i just don't get it like they don't really mean anything to the youtuber i don't see why they would need it but they still go on it like sorry not go on it like go on about it like all the time so yeah, if you hear the people like talking in the background, I'm sorry because I'm not in my grand's, I'm in my own house, so uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys would like the drawing up closer or down more, so about here, but that wouldn't exactly fit in my lens, so we're going to need to do it here. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking about how YouTubers always moan about likes and anything. <laughs> Even though I do it, like, all the time. But, yeah, I don't ask for likes or anything. I just like to entertain the viewers or, like, whoever joins the video without ask, constantly asking for likes and stuff. Because, you know, like do all that stuff at the end of the video because that's how you just lost viewers constant like I don't get it mm. I'm not 
100% sure about the smile here because, well, I was thinking about going like skinny, like right in here. But then I thought that the thick shade coming down would do it, like that. But then for, I had the idea from here and then down like this. Which I think really suits it because he has the makeup in that direction because it goes up his cheek this way and then it comes towards his cheekbones here because he has a very tight jawline and it kind of like pops out at the side here and so well yeah that's that part but hopefully I try to get the light coming through here and stuff you know so I don't know how far down I should come with the shading at the sides here. From his scalp, like the middle of his head, coming in, coming like in his hair, right here. Um, because all of his hair is coming up into like a bush that way, like this. So then for if I was to draw the scalp here, sorry, then it would kind of look like his hair would be separating out, which is not what we want, because we want it to kind of come out, but back in around these areas here. So it comes out from the side of the head, then it comes like whatever like the hair does when it comes out. But it'll eventually come back into here. And uh, that's all I can really think about like, for the hair. Is to obviously, you know, like, come in deeper with the hair. And the shading process and stuff with the hair. Because I've kind of done darker edges around here. With this other pencil that I was using which I have no idea what it went to but it became very very flat and I had actually used it to do this hair shading here not on the actual like forehead itself but the actual hair and um, it turned out pretty well for I mean like that amount of time I've only took like not really long on this because usually my drawings would take forever that like I wouldn't actually record it but I'm going to be trying to do more videos frequently and I'm going to try and space them out like through the week and stuff so I might be doing daily videos and stuff with uh, you guys it might just be art, I don't know. Might throw in some other things there like origami because I do that stuff too. And I might throw out a tutorial on things like, oof, like this. And origami, like the ninja star. But we ain't do that now. Also, might be coming in gaming videos. I might start doing gaming videos you know, on the PS4 and as you can see, focus camera on the Switch. So that's that really. Uh, the PS4 and the Switch will be the only gaming, origami and art and stuff. And I was actually thinking about doing a bigger version of the demon that I done, just like, a random picture of like a demon in my book here right here I was thinking about doing a bigger version of this even though it is big but a bigger version of that I was thinking about putting this onto A4 paper but having it portrait then doing it instead of landscape because when I done it landscape it actually turned out smaller than what I thought it would and 
yeah. So that's the drawing technically done, but we're just gonna throw in some more detail around the eyes and stuff because um I think that this eyebrow is a little bit not as good as the other one because of like the way that the eye and the eyebrow is. Um if you guys would like me drawing things like and filming like the full actual drawing and the process like of doing it then I will actually do that so although it may be like a 30 minute video but this one's roughly only going to take about like 20 minute video it's, we're at 15 minutes now and um, time has already flew in you guys with this video but we're just gonna keep on going until we need to stop, really. I think that this round bit of the hair I could take away because there's no actually any round bits like around here. So I think that here we could maybe straighten up or put a little angle on. So, yes, this part has whitened. We can just smudge from the shading over here. The one about that pencil shading, and there we go. It's technically back to what it was, but you know, we're going to be changing this part anyway. Here, we might do something like this. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Anything that can really separate, you know, this from a circle kind of shape because we don't really want a circle shape maybe something like this then we could shade here it's starting to look a bit better so yeah look forward and, well not look forward really because you just might not all be uh, quite excited but um stay tuned for vlogs and stuff because I will be putting them up, I promise. I might even put up a little vlog later of uh, whatever you want really. Let oh my playstation just went on. <laughs> Sorry guys. Like whatever you would personally want in the vlogs. I do parkour you know, football or whatever, but I do a lot and I do exploring with my friend, uh, Harry, we both have a YouTube channel, it's not this one, this is my own one, but there's another YouTube channel, uh, I will hunt down the name of it, I will ask him, I have actually forgotten the name of it because I'm very forgetful about things like that and like account names and stuff but I will tell you the name of that channel somebody's at my door <laughs> and they won't let it go so oh my god wrap it so I'm no in so we will need to uh, end this video soon I will actually put a mop right <clears throat> I will put them up right through the door and then actually poke them away with it. No idea what that was. So yeah guys, I'm going to end that video here and I will see you in the next video with some more drawn videos because I feel like the drawn videos will actually get more views than other stuff with my art. So I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.